Hey, and talking to Independence Coach John H. Lilly. Uh, John, big win for you guys tonight over uh, rival you know well. Uh, late, I, I want to get to the game, but late in the game, kind of took a knee on four downs. Talk about that decision. Even the younger kids in the game, you well, feel like that was the thing to do? Well, yeah, I do. I mean, uh, JV plays on Monday nights. You know, they're they're going to play a full game Monday night against Shady Spring, and you know they got their opportunity to uh, go score touchdowns on Monday night. So. You know, we just wanted to make sure that we showed a little class and and uh, the game was over. It was obvious it was over. So, you know, live to play for another day. And did definitely accomplished that goal. Uh, talk about Addicts Goods and what he did uh, tonight, six touchdowns. And, and and I think he was a little under the weather in the first half. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's nerves or, or what. You know, he's been sour stomach the last two weeks in the first quarter. He gets a sour stomach. Um, you know, he uh, we'll get it, we'll get it fixed. You know, part of the problem is we. this is the first time we've played three quarters, and we really didn't play three quarters. So I'm real concerned on what we're going to do when we get into a four-quarter game. But, uh, you know, we'll take them. And uh, I come in Shady Spring. They had a lot of guys hurt and right. injured, and they came out and battled and, and played hard like I knew they would. And But I'm also proud of our guys for responding to that. Now, you've got, obviously, Atticus is one of the best, best running backs in the state, but you got a lot of other guys people maybe don't know about. And one guy showed up tonight was Cyrus Goods and his brother. He, this passing game has been sneakily, it's been kind of sneaky with the numbers they've been able to put up. Like, well, you know, Cyrus, Cyrus is in the 10th grade. He's never played football before, so it's a learning curve for him. He's got good hands. Uh, and he's about 6'2", so, you know, we got a good – we got a good threat out there. Judah's Jude, Judah's one of the hardest working kids you'll ever be around. State runner-up wrestler, and he's only a tenth grader. And Bowers is only a salt is only a ninth grader. So, in a lot of ways, we're playing a lot of young kids out there. But uh, they're responding well. Uh, I like the way they practice. Uh, you know, we're trying to make our passing game better because it was not very good last year. Uh, to, so you just can't load the box up on Atticus. Well, I had to talk about the play of Duncan. I mean. They I mean, he's a guy that's probably – you haven't had a whole lot of opportunity maybe to open up because of the scores of these games, obviously. But uh, he, when he gets a chance, he's, he's able to show a propensity for putting it in the end zone. Well, we've been working together for three years very closely. And, and in the beginning, we had some issues with his throwing mechanics. And, uh, you know, and he's done nothing but work hard. I mean, people don't understand how hard he's worked in the in the, in the off season and – and when the COVID-19 hit, you know, grabbing receivers and going up to Stokoe and throwing pass routes and doing those things uh, on his own, you know, without the coaches being around. So, uh, yeah, I'm real proud of him. He's turned into a leader. I was really worried, you know, because we only have three seniors, what kind of leadership we'd have. But our three seniors have done a remarkable job. What about the stable backs you have? I mean, obviously you got Goodson, but uh, you got some other guys back there. And uh, Price is one guy mentioned that, you know, he's put up some numbers. In the, in the passing game and the uh, running game. You've got uh, Goods and you've got Cody Miller back in the backfield. Uh, another guy that's been able to do some things for you. Yeah, we got a little freshman we're high on too, but he was banged up. He hurt his leg earlier in the game, Tyler Linksweller. Uh, you know, and, and he runs the ball hard too. So we've got a good stable of running backs. Uh, uh, you know, God's blessed us with kids that work hard. I mean, they show up every day. You know, you don't even have to say it. They're, you know, they're like an old dog. You just kick them and they show right back up. Goods and I think three halves of your six, of your six halves you've started this year, his first play, gone for a touchdown. What's it, what makes him so good in that situation that he's you know, able to start the game with one of long touchdowns? Well, a lot of it's that offensive line, you know, and we've, we've That's been – That's what he said too, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're big. You know, you saw that, you know, we're 6'4", 6'3", 6'3". You know, we got a runt in there. Uh, but he's probably one of our better linemen. So, you know, as long as our line blocks like that, we're going to be competitive, you know, so – you know, we're lucky tonight to get a win, and, and we'll just go back to the drawing board and get ready for the next one. Defense may be a little unheralded at this point because of the numbers you put up on offense. Well, you know, going into the season, I was really worried about our defense. I mean, we're starting eight <laughs> we're starting eight sophomores and a freshman. So that's a JV team. So, uh, But each week they continue to get better. Uh, one thing I like about them is, you know, they're, they're feisty. You know, they, they, they play, they play uh, GATA football now. All right. Hey, John, I appreciate it. All right. Congratulations.